Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about a brand new Synology NAS. I want to talk about the RS819. Right, so full disclosure, this is not the RS819. It's what, exactly what it's going to look like pretty much on the front there. It's nearly identical. This is a much older NAS. This is the RS812. And pretty much in terms of a rack mount 4x1U NAS, this is what it's going to look like. Maybe the trays will be slightly different. I know they've upgraded the trays a lot on these rack mounts. Also, it will be a lot shallower given that the RS819 is going to be one of the just around 30 centimeter depth rack mounts. But I just wanted to put this on screen to give you some idea of what it's going to look like in the flesh. But from now on, we'll go with the graphics on the screen. Now, the RS819 we talked about on the channel a little later into last year. It's one of the last of the 2019 series NASs that we're seeing being released. We're still waiting on that DVA 1419 uh, surveillance NAS, the AI supported one, as well as that slim one, the DS619 slim. But this is one that didn't get a great deal of attention at the time it was talked about, but that was about it. And that's because it's a much more value series rack mount NAS. Prior to this, there was the RS816 and to ones before that. It features a quad-core Realtek CPU, and that is the Realtek RTD1296, as seen in the DS418, that little desktop 4x. And this NAS here, it's a 1.4 gigahertz quad-core CPU that does uh, support things like 4K transcoding. It's not very great for Plex, although you can install Plex on it now. But it also supports things like BTRFS, which is great, and Synology's own hybrid RAID system, SHR. This four, uh, this four um, bay device supports the very latest 14 TB and indeed 16, hello Toshiba, hard drives out there as well as SSD, but it doesn't support some of the features of its more expensive Intel-based uh, comparative, the RS818. But this four bay device can be expanded in the same way using the RX418 expansion system, bringing you from four bays to eight bays of storage. Now with this it supports the very latest version of DSM, DSM 6.2 and all of those great applications too. Even with that Realtek ARM based CPU, it can still do a number of the high end tasks. You can forget really about things like virtualization, though it does run a, a Docker station application and of course things like Synology Drive, Synology Office, Synology Moments, Synology Active Backup, things like that. But the extent of that last one, I'd hold out on that and double check prior to official release on that one. I'm still a little bit tentative on the extent of the backup software on this device. But it does support surveillance, it supports up to 20 cameras, um, and I believe 30 cameras even, if you go you know, full out there and upgrade the memory. And it, But I say upgrading the memory, it only arrives with, from what I understand, two gig of DDR4 memory. Now whether you are gonna be able to expand this officially or unofficially, I'm not sure, but I'm not 100% convinced about how far that memory will extend to that many cameras unless they're gonna be low-end cameras. For, for now, stick with the sweet spot of 20 cameras with the Surveillance Station 8.2 software on this device. And of course, it does arrive with two camera licenses included as well. So, if we, uh, on the rear of the device, we can have a look at the port. It isn't redundant, it is not, I should say, a redundant power supply device. It has got two USB 3 ports, it's got an SATA port for that expandability, and two 1GB LAN ports on the rear. We don't have a PCIe slot, and we don't have four LANs there. But what that means, even with that ARM CPU, you are looking at speeds uh, in well in excess of over 200 megabytes per second via link aggregation, which is great to hear for a cost-effective rack mount NAS. And I know a number of you business users that have already got a rack cabinet in place will see some advantages to a more cost-effective rack mount NAS. We've got a whole video coming up soon about the, you know, why our rack mount NAS is more expensive, but a number of you that have already gone down this road will know a number of those reasons, so I'm not really gonna elaborate on those too much. But apart from that, I'm pretty sure I've covered all of the stuff I've got in my notes here. The device itself, we don't have a strict ETA on it, but the fact that it's been issued across a number of the Synology websites in terms of their product uh, listings on Taiwan, all the way through to US and UK very shortly, we do think we're going to see availability of this pretty soon. If you are interested in it, of course, visit the guide to span.com. The link is in the description to learn more. And of course, the NAS Compare article detailing a number of the specifications in terms of hardware and software on this device. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be doing a few comparisons against this and its older generation, and of course, a QNAP alternative in the coming days. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.